Hello and welcome to a little bonus vlog. It is the first May bank holiday and I'm in Droitwich in Worcestershire for the St Richard's Festival. Droitwich is not a big place, it's where I was born and grew up and every year they have this festival of canal boats and cars and I, unsurprisingly, am down at the canal. The event takes place at Vines Park on the north of town. The canal runs right through it and traders set up stall on the grass while the boats moor alongside. It's not a big park, Droitwich is not a big place, but it's a fun couple of days which throws a spotlight on the canal which might otherwise be overlooked at the edge of town. Access is via this swing bridge, one of three in the space of just a couple of hundred yards, although the middle one is permanently open. Then you can wander the towpath and peer at all the goodies on offer. These include drinks, pizza, cakes, jams, arts and crafts, it is amazing what people can make and sell from a narrowboat. They're always beautifully displayed, made with love and oh, so tempting. The jam butty is a regular at these kind of events. To be fair, most of the traders are. That is how they make their money after all. Further down the canal is where visiting boats moor for the weekend. There's not a huge amount of space, but enough for a handful of boats to line the towpath. And of course, many join in the spirit of the event with a bit of bunting. This was interesting, a tiny towable butty with, well, a garden shed on it, a very useful extra space. Few boats were on the move, but this one came past. Incidentally, notice the swing bridge being closed behind it. Elsewhere, off the boats, were stalls and stands and marquees, either selling gifts and food and such like, or promoting particular causes. The local Greyhound Rescue Centre had a stand, for example. As did the Worcester, Birmingham and Droitwich Canal Society. and the Canal Trust from the not-so-far-away counties to the west of Worcestershire. It was a particular pleasure to see the first public appearance of Pamela May 2, the all-electric community narrowboat seen being built in Vlog 168. The boat was taking people on very short trips up and down the length of the park. It was very popular and the electric propulsion really was stealth mode. You couldn't hear the boat's motor at all over the noise of the event and nearby traffic. The trips meant both swing bridges getting a good workout during the day, or at least the volunteers operating them. This will be of interest, I'm sure. A heritage working boat from 1933, with traditional sign writing, decoration and accessories.
the company name and base location were always painted at the stern. This boat's just over 70 feet long and is on the National Register of Historic Vessels. The vast majority of that length is a long, deep cargo hold. It originally had a one-cylinder Gardner engine, but is now powered by a Lister. And this is the traditional boatman's cabin, the only cabin space aboard in which whole families used to live, often with several children. Behind the lace curtains, a bed would fold down from the side for the adults. There's a stove for cooking, hot water and heat. And that cupboard door also hinges down for use as a table. And that was the festival. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.